In this Tekin to Basics video, we are going to learn how to make a scroll bar. So here we are with our little window we're going to create. Um, and the scroll bar is our life friendly little widget on the right hand side. So if you've got something which doesn't fit in your window, you can scroll to make it fit. We all know what they are. We've used them countless, literally countless times. So how do we create one? So let's look across at the code here. And in the code, um, we have done what we usually done. We've created our, imported our um, Tekinto modules. We've you know, created our window and we're running the main loop. Um, now it's like to be worthwhile um, acknowledging about the scroll bar is that in Tekinto, generally the scroll bar is used with the list box, a canvas or a text widget. If you want to use it with something um, other than that, for example, maybe um, a um, entry widget, it can be a bit challenging. Um, but anyhow, that will over a larger window with a whole lot or a frame with a whole lot of um, labels in it. So, but this is the one that naturally, um, naturally, the three that naturally are associated with. So it's list box, canvas, or text widgets. So let's see how we create one because this is a little list box we've got over here. So we've got one. Um, to start off with, we need to actually create our scroll bar object. So I've created my scroll bar object. I say it belongs in the root. I'm going to pack it in. So scroll bar, pack it in. The side is the right hand side over here and I want to fill it in the Y. I want it to get to the bottom and top of the screen. Okay, so now I'm just gonna make this little list box over here. Um, to do that, I've named my list box and I said it goes into the root. Now this is important. Um, y scroll command is an option in list box as it is in text box and canvas. And basically it says, um, associate yourself with the scroll bar um, that we have up here. So this scroll bar, what I've called. So whatever the scroll bar is set at, that's when we actually change the Y value of the list box. Um, now I'm just gonna fill this list box so it's actually um, more than our screen. So I just made run a loop here with a hundred lines, and you know, insert in inserting each item into the list box. And then I've packed my list list, uh, list box in here on the left hand side as well. Um, so the last thing to do with the scroll bar. So basically, we've created a scroll bar object. We've packed it in in the object that we want to connect to the scroll bar. Then. What we actually have to do is we have to use the Y scroll command to say which scroll bar is going to set the actual value for the Y position of that widget. So the last thing we need to do now is um, we need to configure the scroll bar and say what the scroll bar is connected to or what command happens when you actually move it. So in the scroll bar, I wanna configure it so when I actually run this and adjust the value and change the values. What does it do? It runs the command and it runs my list, which is our list up here, and it runs a method from that particular widget as well too. So the method of Y view, it says, when I change this value now, I want you to um, change the Y view, what the actual viewer is seeing within the Y axis. So scroll bars quickly, we're just gonna re recap that because it's got a few different parts to it. So first off, you gotta pack it, you gotta create it, that's all pretty, makes sense. Then we have to associate the um, widget that we're going to use by using the Y scroll command, right here, for the given um, scroll bar. We then also, then for the scroll bar, have to say when we run it, what command do we run, which ties itself back to the widget that we are um, associating it with. Now this one is done for the Y value. You can do it for the X value as well too. It's similar, you just need to change, instead of Y scroll command, you say X scroll command, and instead of Y view, you say X view. So let's see if I close this off, and if we save this and run this, and then we have it, our little scroll bar, which is working away. So. That's how you create a scroll bar in Tekinta.